ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to the Cumber and to 26 Cornishure Terrace, the birthplace of Lee Anderson, one of the greatest jazz and blues singers of the 20th century. All of you gathered here will, of course, know her immense talent, and some of you will have had the pleasure of knowing her personally. I did not have that privilege, but I do know that she was a very modest woman, and indeed a very private person, who stayed out of the limelight after her retirement and lived quietly but happily with what she described as good friends and neighbours in air until her death in June last year. Even in dying, she did not wish anyone to make a fuss. I hope that Pottley doesn't consider repaying her too much attention, and even if she does, that she'll give us a wry smile and forgive us for wanting to mark, in a very small way, her amazing talent and her contributions to the jazz and blues era of the 50s and 60s. I certainly believe that the slip of a girl who could belt out the blues and in so doing, turned musical stereotypes in her heads deserves to be remembered. None other than Louis Armstrong felt moved to compare her to the Empress of the Blues, Bessie Smith. As did the blues enthusiast, vocalist, and commentator, George Milley. This last fact was recounted in an obituary by Peter Batcher in The Guardian where U.S. critic Leonard Feather is also quoted as speaking of her conviction and authority, and where Otley herself is recorded as saying simply, I sing the blues because I find it so fulfilling. Thatcher equally simply says, it should. When you consider the overwhelming evidence of her talent, I believe we in art are rightly very proud that someone of such musical influence and impact should have been born here and grown up in our midst. And now it gives me great pleasure to invite one of Otley's closest friends, <coughs> Lisa Watson, to join me in unveiling this plaque to mark the birthplace of the great, late Otley Patterson. I'm not going to belt out the blues now. <laughs> so,